I say this with the utmost respect for Ohio State, but it 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 it, it just watching the broadcast. I mean, the ABC crew, the ESPN and ABC crew were were uh, were featuring Tyler Trent throughout. Uh, and this is the young man who had to drop out of school as he's fighting cancer, and he predicted you guys would beat Ohio State. And he was part of the broadcast, and I do believe, as we saw. He went into the locker room and was part of the post-game celebration. I wonder if you can walk us through uh, how you included him in your plans. Well, uh, the short of the story is I met him about a year ago. He's camped out before a Michigan game the night before. I was just walking down to get a bite to eat, and there he was. Went, went over and said hello to him. Never really told me a story then, but he was going through cancer treatments. You couldn't really tell for sure how far along that was, but you knew he was going through something and never uh, used that as a crutch, had a great attitude, great smile. We kind of kept in contact. Um, you know, he was a big part of doing some cancer research around here, so we ran into each other. And uh, really it wasn't until right when the Nebraska game, we went down there a couple weeks ago to play, uh, that I found out it had taken a real turn for the worse. Um, I mentioned him at our press conference, just some thoughts and prayers out to him. And then on the flight home, I saw some pictures, and it, it did not look good. Uh, and I was hearing even worse. So we decided to uh, send our captains up there the next day and give them the game ball just to kind of uh, let them know we're thinking about them and praying for them and hoping for the best. Uh, and as much as it touched him, our players got as much out of it uh, in return. It was a meaningful moment for him. And then really from there, it just kind of grew into more. You know, I went and saw him about a few days later. Uh, and for a guy that was going through a lot, he actually, every time I see him, he looks tremendous. And then he made the prediction, and he wanted to come to the game. And it was about two weeks off, and we, to be honest with you, didn't know if he would make it that long. And also, you know, he's able to show up, and he looked great again. I mean, as far as the smile, his great spirits, as everything positive, great energy. So we wanted him to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, brought him in the locker room, let him talk, our, our players. And now he became not only an inspiration to our team, but our university, the community, and the nation. And I really feel like as much as we've gotten out of it, which we have a ton, because it does put things in perspective, I think the whole nation and all the love they've shown him, he's grown stronger. And hopefully it makes him uh, stay with us a little bit longer. But it truly is a, a great story. It is. It is. And hopefully it has a, um, a happy ending, you know. And hopefully it is something that he, he just gets back on campus, he gets well. And, and, and we hope that, again, a night like Saturday night uh, is some wind beneath those wings right there. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.